Hey everybody, we are going to do record this brief uh, workshop for the Wealth and Wisdom Institute. This is the uh, first uh, presentation. We call this the starting point of our Eliminating Losing Financial Strategy series called Demographics, okay, the Changing Financial Landscape. And uh, we feel this is what you need to know um, as your, that was missing in a lot of the planning today because, you know, Really, once you see this, you, you know, you can't really even do any planning until you actually know this, we believe. So check this out. So here we go. This Let's say this money represents your wealth, okay? And, you know, obviously everybody wants their wealth to grow. And so traditional planning tells you that the point, that the central point of growth is driven by investments you know it's a product solution all you have to do is buy a sufficient amount of the right stock at the right time and you know everything will be just fine you know the market always goes up you know the history of the market always goes up but one of the things that we share with people at wealth and wisdom is difficult to get to the right solution when you start out with the wrong premise we believe that the central issue confronting your financial future really is dramatically changing demographics. Let me ask you a question. If you knew what was going to happen in the next 3,000 days, I don't know if y'all y'all see Back to the Future and, you know, Back to the Future 2, where he came back, where the uh, Biff came back with the Almanac and he had, he knew all the big sports games and who was going to win the next games for the next 20 years and he bet on that. Okay, well, if you, you know, if you had a crystal uh, opportunity to be able to do that, you know, could that make you some money? Absolutely. Well, what if I could tell you what was going to happen in the next 3,000 days? Would that give you a clear view to make better decisions uh, financially? You better believe it. And so here you go. Well, let me tell you what's going to happen. And this is for certain in the next 3,000 days. We're going to have less tax paying workers. We're going to have more retirees, more people in government programs more people living longer. You're going to have more money flowing out of 401ks programs, more retirees than money going in because they need to start to take that money out to, to live on. Okay, You're going to have increasing government social programs. All right, We already have increasing government social programs. We have increasing government debt, not the deficit, but the debt. Um, we're going to have seniors selling off stock for more conservative quote unquote less risky investments. So they're going to be moving out of equities into something where they want to they don't want to deal with the volatility and they need to protect the you know what money they've accumulated. So now think about this folks. This is economics one on one and this is you gotta to start to have a bigger picture view so that you know what's going on so you don't fall for somebody's sales pitch. See what we want to do is give you Wisdom. See, knowledge is just information, but wisdom is the ability to apply that knowledge to everyday life. So think about this. With the market, if you've got two-thirds the baby boomers or the population selling stock, okay, and uh, what happens to the price of that stock? I mean, you got more people selling stock that can buy it. So if you've got more supply than demand, what's going to happen to the price of the stock? it's going to go down okay and so if you're betting that you're hopefully you know the greater fool theory your 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 stocks will be up it'll be somebody else to sell it to and the market always goes up well you know really is that that the market's going to you know that the, the it's going to be downward pressure on that so if you're betting on your 401k to be up you know you may be in for a rude awakening you know so you may not want to have all your eggs in that basket okay I'm just saying so that's that's something to consider and so you know there's mandatory distribution so when they reach 70 guess what they have to start selling um, because you know the government needs that money you're going to have seniors downsizing their homes you know and so that's going to put down more downward pressure on the real estate market there's all be, see all these things also represent opportunity also but you've got to know the games it's hard to win a game you don't know the rules and you've got to learn the money game there's effects the effects of record amount of personal debt that we're feeling increasing taxation decreasing benefits uncertainty markets risk future taxation terror okay all those things and see these issues can't be solved using traditional thinking okay see 
your most of the information that you're getting is designed to get you to get you to basically give them your money you know and so most people are involved in the process of transferring their wealth away to companies and institutions and government agencies that create situations control the outcomes so they can profit from them they give you just enough information to play the game but not enough to win so here's the thing. So let's look at your money. So most people are dealing with on the right side of this plan, you know, qualified plans, how to buy a house, investments, retirement. Then you on the left side, you got government debt, government programs, taxation, cost of living. Because see, the government looks at it as their money. They have plans for your money. Okay. And every aspect of your financial life faces demographic consequences. And all of these will work to shrink your wealth. According to the Comptroller of the United, former Comptroller David Walker, we're heading to a future where we'll have to double federal taxes or cut spending by six, get it, 60%. Okay? Uh, Alan Greenspan, funny that he's talking about it now. It's half of it's his fault, but another story. The uh, But as a nation, we have already made promises to coming generations of retirees that we'll be unable to fulfill. Alan Greenspan. Let me ask you a question. If something you thought to be true wasn't true, when do you think would be a good time to find out about it? Okay? And so let me run you through a couple of examples. This is a real brief thing. Um, if this type of stuff in you know uh, intrigues you, you can give us a call, our office, and uh, we can walk you through analysis and go in a little more detail. I'm doing this kind of quick for this recording, but let's talk about the the foundation of our practice is helping people recapture transfers of their wealth. We tell people there's three types of money. There's accumulated money, which is the money you have saved. There's lifestyle money, which is the money it takes to live your life, go on the vacations, drive the car you want to drive, you know, do those to put the kids in the schools you want them to go to. That's lifestyle money. Most people don't want to deal with cutting their lifestyle. Um, accumulated money, you just have to take more risk to get a better rate of return, but most people are transferring their money away. Okay, the number one wealth transfer is taxes, you know, qualified plans, you know, um, are you financing your future or the government's, you know, through qualified plans. So it's really important that you understand how those things work and how they affect you. Is it a tax saving event, you know, tax refunds, you know, we pay extra money and get excited about getting a big tax refund, but all you did was give the government an interest free loan, owning a home. You know, should I put a big down payment? Should I get a 15 or 30 year mortgage? Should I pay bi-weekly? You know, there are considerations there. Most people don't do that correctly. And you have to look at the home ownership as part of your overall financial plan, the debt and how to use leverage properly. Credit cards, you know, financial planning to the way it's been uh, uh, told to people, whereas most people don't do planning. Financial planning is supposed to be helping average families spend, save, invest, insure, and plan for financial independence. That's planning. It's five things. It's not just, hey, let me find you a couple of good mutual funds. Let me get your assets under management. It's more to it than that. Investments, you know, buying cars, a huge, huge wealth transfer. You know, the investments have a lot of fees in them. Uh, uh, you know, Life insurance, you know, term insurance is is actually a big wealth transfer. Uh, disability, you know, most people, most foreclosures, a lot happen because of medical issues. Disability, but less than 20% of people have disability insurance. So we want to look at those. Let me give you a quick example. Let's talk about a tra uh, wealth transfer. You know, let's say you make $75,000 a year. You got $5,000 saved up. Well, that means you've got $70,000 left to go to lifestyle money. Now, most people focus on how can I make that $5,000 make more money. So let's say you could get 10% on that $5,000. Just to make $500 on that, you would have to get 10% on the $5,000 would make $500. But I, I, in today's market, you'd be taking a decent amount of risk to make on with your money to make 10%. Uh, so how could you grow that? Well, let's say we could look at the 70000 and through reviewing where your money is going and looking for at those major wealth transfers, we could save you $700 a year. That's $58 and some change a month. But now we recapture that money and put it and add it back to the $5,000. So at the end of the year now, you've got savings of $5,700. Do you understand that's a savings of equivalent of 14% 
return on your money? Hmm. Okay, if you could save 2%, uh, that's like earning 28% on your money. If you could get 3%, that's equivalent of earning 42%. Uh, with no risk, folks. Okay, and you know, and notice there's no products been mentioned. That's just you having a different viewpoint. We all have heard one said a changed viewpoint can change your life, and so you've got to start to look at your money differently. Everything you do has value. Everything you do affects everything else you do. Okay, and you've got to develop a new thought process as to how you deal with your finances, and that's what we do. Let's go over one more thing. Let's look at, you understand that the the, uh, the the dollar you have today, to a defining moment we teach people that your money will never be worth more than it is today because of inflation. So if you had $10,000 and inflation is 4%, in 20 years, you need $21,000. Let's say it's 3%. I'm going to be generous. Okay. And uh, you need $18,000 to buy what? Ten thousand dollars buys today, or your ten thousand dollars is only worth five thousand dollars. Okay, and so that's why it's so it's difficult to focus focus just on accumulating money because it's a moving target. You know, you're focused on getting this big pile of money, but the, because of the way that the, our money supply works, uh, you know, the dollar is you know is shrinking. So you're you know you're trying to accumulate this money, but the money is becoming worth less, literally before your eyes. So here's the thing. Traditional planning, we found they're so busy selling your product that they forgot to give you knowledge, okay? And then the wisdom is the ability to apply that knowledge to everyday life. So here's the lessons that we believe you must have to survive financially. One is what I just went over very quickly, the demographic impact. Two is leverage, how you, you know, uh, fluent people want to figure out how to create the most wealth with the least amount of money. You know, how can you control the asset? You know, uh, learning how to use debt as a financial tool. You know, understanding opportunity costs, which is a major thing that we go into. Uh, and understanding when you deal with money, you want to ask yourself three questions. Liqu is it liquid? Can I use it? And who has control? The financial goals of the Institute, us at Wealth and Wisdom and with uh, May Financial, number one, the goal is to um, increase your money supply, not 10 years from now, but today. How can we put more money in your pocket immediately by recapturing that transferred money and re putting it back into your personal economy? Two is to create more and better benefits. And three is we want to reduce the element of risk in future taxes. And we want to prepare you for these events without spending one more dime than you're currently spending. And so if you could do something like that, is that the type of planning that you'd like to pursue? And if it is, give us a call at 610-400-1213. Uh,